Okay, quick video on my John Deere and uh, Cub collection. This is a 75 John Deere 214. It's got the later model Tiger Stripe hood decal, but it is a 75. It's, uh, it's what I use for tilling. It's got a model 31 tiller on it. It's got electric lift. This is a, I think it's an 83, 314 John Deere. This has got a, uh, it's got a repower. This one now has a 20 horse V-Twin Vanguard. This is a 1974. This is a, uh, this is a 140 H3. This is one I picked up from an auction. I think I got, I think with the front tires, the paint and the clear, I think I've got right around four and a half in it. That's counting 50 bucks for the seat, which I already had. And there's a set of eggs I already had. Okay, this is a 1970 John Deere 120. This is original paint tractor. I got this one as a basket case. I've got a video uh, back on the channel. Put this one back together and uh, pretty much left the original paint. Only thing I painted was under the seat pan. I painted this this upright. And the air cleaner and those side, uh, the side plates there. Other than that, yeah, it's completely original paint. These 120s were H1s. This one's got a, uh, it's got a rear lift on it. I pull a uh, pull a grader blade with it. I've got a cultivator too. I'm probably going to switch. Uh, I'm going to move this over to the 140, and I'm going to. I got a deck for this. I may run the deck back on this and keep that one for the work around the house. This is a 1967 John Deere 112 hydraulic lift. It's a 112H. It's got the uh, John Deere snow thrower on it. Can't remember the model number on these. I can read it. I can't read it. 30, 36, model 36. This tractor runs out real well. I did get to use a snow thrower on it one time last year. Okay, this is another 67 John Deere 112. This one has the... Uh, it's got the Haven sickle. It's been painted the John Deere colors. But it does have the uh, Haven sickle. This is this one's been restored. I just got them out and got them cleaned up. Sitting in the barn, they get dusty. They sit in a rock floor. Soon to be concrete, but not yet. Okay, that's uh that's the early serial John Deere 110. It's a 64. That's an older restoration. It's got the narrows. It's got the uh, traction tires in the back, the narrows. Can't remember the vent on this one. Maybe you can see it. It's pretty low, 38, 60 something. But that one's got a deck on it. This one runs out real well. This is another John Deere 110, 64. Uh, this one's up in the, I think it's the 10,000 range. If I'm not mistaken. This one's a totally original, unrestored. Uh, looks like 6,000. So it's still early. This one's got a uh, rear lift on it. Your early model 64s, they didn't have a, uh, they didn't have the alternator charge light, the generator charge light. That's one way to tell the early ones. A little farther up in the serials, you'll run into the, uh, they'll have the charge indicator. That's a 1970. That's a John Deere 112 with uh that's the 140 hood off that 140. I'm gonna look for a hood for this one when I restore it. But it's a 70 112. It's got the uh it's got the big kohler in it. I think 12 horse might be a 10, but it is the big kohler. It's got eggs in the back. It's in decent shape, just needs restored. This is a 1969 April Red patio. 
It's a 110. Not an April red, it's a I'll patio on red. The, uh, hood decals from Hapco Parts. It's got the original textured seat. It does have a uh, does have a recover on the seat cover. And these are the two jewels that I wanted to capture a video about. These are two 1969 John Deere 112 hydraulic lift H's. These two tractors are sequential serial numbers, which means they were in the assembly line next to each other, what, 51 years ago. This tractor here is 157, 158. And this tractor here is 157, 159. So these are, these are brothers. Like I said, they were, uh, they were next to each other in the assembly line. By chance, these came together. They were about 50 miles apart their whole life in two different states, but now they're, they're back together. This one's got the, uh, this, this, uh, snow blade came with the tractor from the dealer. I've got the, uh, dealer paperwork on it. So this, this one was not, was not bought with the deck. It was bought with the blade. This one, I do have the deck for it. I haven't installed it yet. I think this one came with a 47 inch deck. This one's got the headlights on it. The other ones don't. But that's the ones I'm really uh, excited about having. Sequential serial numbers, you, you, don't, you don't find that out of the amount of tractors they built, especially two originals. That's an original paint tractor. This is an original paint tractor. Original paint in the hood, original seat, original hood, original seat. The only thing that's yellow on this is uh, it's got some yellow caps and it's got a yellow idler pulley for the uh, PTO for the deck. But yeah, two original paint tractors. I may touch this one up a little bit just to make it look a little better. But uh, I'm definitely not going to do a restore and not going to repaint it. The hoods are in awesome shape on both of them. Let's go to the Cubs. I got a couple. I've got six more in the barn. They don't run. I've got to go through them. So these are the ones I've got that are uh, complete. Here's a 64. This is a Cub Cadet 100. I haven't restored this one yet. Everything works in this tractor. It mows. Came from I'm Hardware in uh, Concord Village, Missouri. It's got the narrows up front. It's got some uh, pretty beefy. It looks like a uh, not really an ag tire, more like a, uh, more like a, uh, a what do you call it, a, a skid steer? <laughs> I don't know. I've seen them before, but I can't remember what they call them. Anyway, that's a 64100. And then this is a, uh, I did a video on this. I think this is a 1971 Cub 108. I picked this one up local. I haven't cleaned this one up yet, but uh, yeah, this one mows. This one, uh, this one runs awesome. I've actually mowed a couple acres with it this year. And then we got the uh, almost restored Cub Cadet 1250. This one's going to get a hydraulic lift, and uh, I've got the deck for it. I've got a 1650 parts tractor, and I've been meaning to. Uh, Put the hydraulic uh, lift on. I'm going to swap out the rear end since they're not interchangeable for the hydraulic lift, and uh, put all the uh, lift hardware on it. This tractor was restored oh, quite a few years ago, and this is the uh, this is the GE E12. This is the Electrac. This one, same way, it runs and it mows. There's a video on the channel on this one. Don't think I have any plans to restore it. I think I'm gonna leave it original. I was gonna repaint it, but uh, hey, they're only original once. If I can leave them original, I will. It's not beautiful, but hey, it's original. Okay, that's the uh, Cub Cadet and the John Deere collection.
I'll update a video later when I get some more of the cubs ready. I've got a, I think I've got five more. I've got a, uh, I've got to get ready. So uh, yeah, pretty much all the John Deere's are out. I got them all running today. Got them washed, got them chamois off. Wouldn't mind putting a coat of wax on them, but that's a lot of work. I don't think I'm in for that today. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, till the next one.